Hello, this is Bern, and if you are with a man who is good for you, but you're not feeling the chemistry towards him, on today's episode, I will be sharing with you seven qualities in him that can significantly enhance the possibility of the chemistry getting stronger through time. Stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life TV.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, and successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams and attract the quality man you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or stupid techniques, and as a result of stepping into the most alive, the most conscious, and the most feminine version of you. Now, if you are with a good man right now, or a good man is pursuing you, and you're not feeling the chemistry, but you know there's qualities in him that make you want to at least value what's going on, and you don't want, you're asking yourself the question, am I gonna waste my time with this man? First thing I wanna say right off the bat is that chemistry sometimes is instant, sometimes it's not instant, sometimes it grows through time, like a candle flame that gets stronger and stronger. Sometimes the candle flame never gets to ignite, and there's no chemistry regardless of how hard both of you try. Now, if you're in the initial stages of dating someone and you don't want to throw away something that could be the most amazing relationship of your life, here are seven qualities that will, that can determine how much more chemistry you can feel with him. The first one is self-awareness in him. If he's a guy who is self-aware, if he knows his limitations and he knows his greatness and he knows his place around the world and he can read you and he can read human beings and he can read his environment, that is an attractive quality that will make you understand him, admire him, and respect him. So that's a good point on his side. If he has self-awareness, that's a good thing that can enhance the possibility of you feeling more towards him. Second one, it needs to be there. If you're not feeling the chemistry and this one's not there, it's unlikely that it's going to grow very powerfully, and that is confidence. Why? Because you as a woman will be driven towards a guy who is confident, period. That's, that's how it works. Now, confidence has sometimes, there's a misunderstanding of what confidence is. Confidence is not being cocky. Confidence is not feeling superior to other men. Confidence or women, confidence is knowing that you are capable, knowing that you are worthy, knowing that you can make shit happen, knowing that you have a place in the world and that your inherent worth gives you a space. You're not apologizing for being. So if the guy that you're connecting with is confidence, again, another check mark in the book that will potentially enhance you feeling more towards him. Third one, very, very important, hunger and drive. Why? Because if the guy is hungry, if he wants more, if he's the kind of person who is not letting stupid mistakes stop him, if he's one, if he's a human being who is much more about results than excuses, if he puts his mind into something and he accomplishes it, that is such an attractive quality for you and your feminine, my dear. Why? Because you don't have to make everything happen all the time. You can relax more. You can lean back. You can open your heart and allow him to lead some of the time instead of you having to lead all the time, which is not going to create the polarity that you're seeking with a man. Fourth, clarity of vision. Why? Because if he's hungry and driven, but doesn't know where he's going, it's like, uh, hit or miss, right? It's like this uh, Tasmanian devil makes a lot of things happen, but it's not going anywhere. So if he has hunger and he knows where he's headed, he's, those two are very powerful combined. Why? Because you connect with a guy who's self-aware, who is confident, who knows what he wants in life and who's going for it full force. That will most likely than not allow you to, as you connect with him more and more, feel more towards him. Number fifth is presence. Why is presence so important? Because presence is the thing that will allow you to be seen, felt, understood, experienced. Without presence, you don't know that he's connecting with you. With presence, that is such an attractive quality for you and your feminine. Why? Because that shows you that he is with you. That shows you that he has the intelligence, not just mental intelligence, but also emotional intelligence to be in front of you and to witness you. And again, that's one of those things that will continue increasing your attractiveness towards him. Number six is compassion. Why? Because if you're, we're talking about a lot of qualities that have to do with forward-driven vision, 
if you're not compassionate, you can do things in a way where you screw people over in your attempt to pursue something great. So if he has all those qualities, but is also compassionate with himself and with you, again, this is an amazing combination of qualities that more likely than not, the more you get to know him, the more you'll feel for him. Seven, boundaries. And by boundaries, I mean not just your boundaries, his ability to set boundaries with the world. His ability to say, here's where I draw a red line, don't cross it. Not Again, not necessarily just with you, but with everyone around him. Why? Because you can't admire a man who's a pushover. If a guy is a pushover, if people can mess with him, if he doesn't have guts, if he doesn't have coglioni to actually, that's his uh, testicular fortitude, <laughs> to actually say what he needs to say and do what he needs to do and say no when he needs to say no, again, you will lose respect for him. So here you have it. These are seven qualities. And I'm not saying he has to have all seven qualities. Obviously, the more of, qual the more of these qualities that he has, the more likely in my prediction, my estimation, that you will be able to feel more chemistry the more you get to know him. Now, am I saying this is infallible? Absolutely not. Could he have seven of these qualities and you still not feel chemistry? Absolutely. But if you are with a man and you're not sure if he has what it takes to grow in chemistry and he has none of these qualities, move on. Please move on. It's not gonna happen, okay? Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful to you in some way. If it is, my dear, I will ask you to do three things, please. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And if you have, then just click on the little bell next to the subscribe button and that will allow you to watch new episodes as they come out. Number three, most important of all, two parts. Part A, if you want to learn how to step into the most conscious relationship and how to do so without running around in circles, then I created a masterclass for you. On the first link under the description of this video, you can click on that link enter your name and email and be immediately redirected to a 40 minute masterclass that I created for you and it's free. If you're watching me right now and you know who you are and you're saying, I love the videos, I love the energy, I love the wisdom that you're sharing with me. However, I I've been watching things for some time. I've been reading books, I've been doing yoga, I've been doing the law of attraction and none of it has brought my partner. Well then you probably need coaching. You probably need mentorship to avoid years of pain and trial and error unnecessarily. And if that's the case and you know who you are, then on the second link under the description of this video, click on a link to apply to work with me. Uh, I'm not a fit for everyone, so I'll read your application. If I feel I can help you, I will. my assistant will reach out to you and I will connect with you one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.